so the installation is done and you can press close uh, then you're gonna go to your finder and type in VM so as I said before do not move this file right here do not touch it leave it where it is and double click on it to open it up and it's gonna oh, registration you there's, you don't have to register it's not needed close that up and you're gonna obviously you're gonna go to the second one okay and obviously since you don't have a disk you're gonna press continue without disk you're gonna press on the second one right there this is gonna come up this is where you're gonna go to the file where you saved your windows file I saved it in a windows folder and you're gonna choose it and you press continue this one you can leave like that and you can uh, this is just for your thing so you don't have to type in a password uh, Windows product key uh, is right here which I will post in the description bar you're gonna go to Windows 7 Home Basic and I will post this in the description bar uh, I will just find it one second there it is here we go and you can press continue I'll put these post these in the, in the thing don't worry about it you're gonna want to choose more isolated because more seamless although it is a little laggy there's a much higher chance that you get a virus on your Mac and your Windows so more isolated it's a little bit laggy but you won't really notice it that much uh, continue and now you just finish you want to save it to your desktop okay it's right there right there right there on your desktop don't move it don't do anything with it leave it where it is now now that you've got it all downloaded, you're going to press the screen and it's going to start download, installing the file itself. Uh, there's going to be about two, I think. There's going to be, it's going to uh, install and then it's going to restart and install again. So that's going to happen two times. Uh, after the two times are done, you can start using your, you can start using the Windows normally. Alright, so. So. full screen on this and it's done so yeah so that's gonna go on two times and yeah uh, so I'm just gonna show you what I mean by the installation go full screen on this you guys can see it a little better or no actually it's better if I don't go full screen so remember what I, well, remember what I said don't touch this file leave it there don't even drag it and move it anywhere don't take the risk just leave it trust me it's a pain in the butt to keep on redoing it so yes this is what I mean uh, it's gonna go through this and all five of these may take about 15 20 minutes uh, for both of them uh, one of them's already done uh, so as this this is the first one after this it's going to restart and the second one's going to happen once the second one's going to restart and you can actually finally use it okay so uh, I'm going to pause and then I'm going to come back and show you when it's all done Yep, so once you've got the uh, all those setups installed, uh, you've got your Windows 7 on your Mac computer. Uh, it's going to ask you about your internet connection. What you're going to want to answer, you're going to want to say it's your home network. 
the network will not be called whatever your network is right now. It's going to be called network. Okay, that's all it's going to be called. Uh, everything's going to work. It's going to be a little laggy, but it's fine. Uh, it works perfectly like a normal computer. Like a normal Mac Windows computer. So, yeah, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on my next video.